Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> the Wii U's outselling the Xbox One. It's true, the Wii U has outsold the Xbox One. And how they do this? Magic. There's a bunch of Nintendo fairies that look just like Toad. They're sitting around a bowl in Japan and they're doing magical incantations. Soon they will rule the world and Sony. No, I'm just kidding. Nintendo is doing pretty good though, uh, considering how bad they've been doing for the last 18 months. Of course, we all know that when PS4 and the Xbox One shipped, within two months they had already outsold the Wii U's lifespan, even though the Wii U came out a year earlier. But it seems like things might be turning around for the Wii U, and I want to tell you guys about it now. This article is on GameSpot.com. Wii U sales reached 7.3 million. DS sales hit 45 million. So that's a big deal considering where they were. Global Wii U sales have reached 7.29 million, million units ahead of the console's two-year anniversary. Nintendo has revealed this information. That means it's fairly likely the Wii U is still outselling the Xbox One, but perhaps understandably so considering its 12-month head start. <laughs> Sales momentum is on an upward trajectory too, with Nintendo shipping 1.1 million units during the six months to September compared to the 406,000 it shipped during the same period last year. So they've over doubled over in it within a year period of time. However, the number offers more insight into the scale of the challenge Nintendo faces replicating past success. By this stage in its life cycle, the Wii had sold 34 million units. So if you look at that, 7 million versus 34, they're like <laughs> 7 times behind, or 5 times behind. Yeah. So they sold 5 times as many Wiis in the same period of time as they did Wii U's. The Wii is one of the best selling consoles of all time. Even though it's Nintendo, it's really hard to live up to that kind of standard. The Wii was just a phenomenon. Nobody had ever seen any motion controls and stuff. Everybody had to have one. And so it's really hard to, you know, live up to that kind of standard, even though you are a Nintendo. Uh, so I'll just say that. In terms of software, 41 million Wii U games shipped worldwide, with the latest success being Mario Kart 8, which sold nearly 3 million units in its first month. Meanwhile, Nintendo 3DS sales have slowed significantly in the past year as the device reaches maturity. Overall, global hardware sales are now at 45.4 million, with 186 million games shipped. The 3DS is now in its 15th financial quarter since release. By this stage in its cycle, the original Nintendo DS had sold 77 million units. So the DS had almost twice as many sold as the 3DS in the same period of time. Nintendo will be looking to continue the 3DS's sales momentum in 2015 with the release of the new 3DS console. I don't think that's going to be a big deal. Um, it does have new uh, hardware specifications and it can run games that this 3DS can't, but I just think Nintendo needs to move forward and, and, and revitalize the brand, do something totally different. And I think they probably will. Probably will do something different with the Wii, Wii U as well. Hopefully they'll give it a real name. I'm happy to see Nintendo doing well. Um, it's been the butt of every joke for at least the last year. Uh, Microsoft and Sony, they both wiped their asses with Nintendo and then passed the toilet paper to one another so the other could wipe it. So uh, with games like Mario Kart, with games like hopefully Bayonetta, and especially Smash Bros. That's why I got my Wii U. I think 2015 will be really good for the Wii. Wii U. You guys let me know what you think about this. Are you a Nintendo fan? Uh, does it make you your heart flutter, uh, you know, to know that Nintendo is actually trying to do, do pretty well and making sales and making gains in the video game community again? Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys like this video, support me with a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.